Well, we're back again today, and uh, Lois has been blowing leaves like crazy. We'll try to give you some pictures of the prettiness of the leaves that uh, we had a week or so ago when peak of the leaves were here, and, and now the trees are about 70% uh, bare, and we're headed into the winter, even though yesterday, even here on the mountain, we were in the 70s, uh, which is almost unreal for this part of November. Nevertheless, uh, I had to go back and look and see where we left off. You remember when we were doing Chronological Bible backwards. We started in the book of Revelation and went backwards, and you can find those up on YouTube. And we went all the way through the, old, uh, through the New Testament backwards. And then we started going back uh, historically from the prophets, and uh, we got to a certain point and recognized that we needed to needed to go back and start coming forward from the book of Genesis. And as I looked at uh, the notes that I had, uh, we came to the book of Exodus, uh, having come from the book of Genesis. And I noticed the very last lesson that I had before I took the position of director of missions for Polk County was that we had looked at the laws and it struck me as I kind of reviewed those uh, that there were laws about murder and uh, that it even was more detailed than that and it was premeditated murder that is you actually planned it out and the consequences for premeditated murder were greater than those of just straight murder and you start to see the wisdom of the Old Testament and how we got a lot of the laws we have today but what I, what I had noticed is that uh, as we got our laws we have watered them down uh, for example, on stealing, uh, when someone stole something, there was restitution. That is, they had to take and pay back the person that they stole from. And they didn't just pay back what they stole. They paid back double what they stole. And I wonder how much thievery we would have today if those that got caught in uh, stealing not only had to pay the penalty of uh, paying back double, but uh, uh, they would wind up with uh, incarceration as well. In any case, as I move forward in chapter 22, uh, I saw all of these laws that we have today that were clearly stated, but perhaps a little bit more severe punishments in uh, the Old Testament, which probably is a good deterrent for crime. And then we saw the uh, thing that there should be no false witness. How easily people will bend the truth, tell half lies, half truth. And uh, the, the penalty for uh, bribery, the penalty for uh, things that uh, are done were quite a bit more severe. And as I moved through chapter 23, uh, I came to the feasts. The feast of the Passover. You remember when people were let out of bondage in Egypt, and the feast of the first fruit, and uh, the harvest uh, feast, and the promised land uh, was given to the nation of Israel. I noticed also as I was going through that uh, it tells us very clearly that we're not to curse the leaders. Even if they're bad leaders, we're not to curse them. And I thought about how today in politics, here the day of election uh, coming up on Tuesday, uh, that we shouldn't be cursing leaders. Uh, it's all right to disagree with them. It's all right to vote for their opposition, but we're not supposed to curse them. Uh, and so we need to remember that. We need to remember to respect those that God has allowed to be in leadership uh, doesn't mean we agree with them doesn't mean we're happy with the decisions they make uh, but we're to respect them nevertheless and uh, I thought that was quite an interesting lesson that I went through but I, I thought back to when I was a child as I got into chapter 24 and I remembered a game that I used to play with one of my neighbor friends uh, I was just a young boy and out behind the house there was a small section of woods and we would dig foxholes into the woods 
You know, we would hide behind trees that had fallen and we played war. Uh, and we would fight sometimes an imaginary battle and uh, an imaginary enemy. Uh, we would lob hand grenades and we would shoot across and I thought uh, somehow back in those days uh, war was seen as uh, something that was glamorous. And I certainly don't see war as glamorous today, especially as I see all that's happening in the Ukraine. Uh, but I do remember something that happened. Uh, the neighbor boy and I, his name was Richie Ward, and uh, Rich Ward and I became blood brothers. I don't know if you've ever seen that, maybe in a Tom Sawyer movie or something, but we we uh, decided we wanted to be blood brothers. We were such close friends, and so we would uh, take something sharp, uh, anything with a jagged edge, and we would drag it across our finger, and we'd get just a little drop of blood, and then we'd take our two fingers, and we'd push them together, and we'd become blood brothers. Well, I was reminded of that in Genesis, excuse me, in Exodus chapter 24, because God had Moses read the covenant, the things that we were to do and the things that we were not to do. Uh, he read the covenant to the people, and then he sprinkled the people with blood. You'll find it there in Exodus chapter 24, uh, a blood covenant, beginning at verse 1 and going through verse 8. And I thought about the New Testament. We have a blood covenant. God says if we would believe Jesus, we would repent from our sins, that the blood of Jesus would make us blood brothers with him. And when we die and leave this world, and we should enter into heaven, we don't have to beg based on our goodness, because we don't have any goodness. We don't have to beg based on uh, mercy. We don't have to beg on things, but we can come to him and plead the blood of Jesus. And Jesus pleads for us. And he says, this is my blood brother. This is one who believed that I died on the cross for him. This is the one that uh, I died for. And I've forgiven his sins. Let him in. <laughs> what a wonderful thing. Blood brothers with Jesus thought back to those many years ago as a little boy, pressing our thumbs together and becoming blood brothers. And we are blood brothers with Jesus. And that's my thought for the day. Enjoy the pictures of the leaves. God bless you and have a great day. Mm -hmm.